Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do my March monthly spread and I'm using my first Caress Press Kit. So I'm really excited about this. I love the artwork in this. It's so pretty and so springy. I cannot, I just, I need spring to be here like right now. I'm so over winter and I'm just really excited to use this kit because it's so bright and cute. I love all the florals. It just screams spring to me. And I'm not super into St. Patrick's Day. So this one kind of like called to me. I'll do a St. Patrick's Day spread in my memory planner. But as a like a monthly and a weekly, I just don't really need it. So let's uh, look at the kit, shall we? Um, here are the um, covers that go over here for the days that are not in the month. And we've got a bunch of icons, which I love this. A couple of payday stickers. We've got the other cover that goes over here. We've got some vacation strips, which I will need those. And some full box covers. The little kitty is so cute. And I love all the craft supplies, just adorable. And then we've got the holidays, some little quarter boxes and labels, some more quarter boxes. And then we've got some bill dues and then some just like little labels. And then I also have the little date squares and some deco, which is adorable. And then I did add on the sidebar, like I don't use my sidebar functionally really. Like I have so many other places where that information needs to go and will be seen more often. So I got this to cover up the side, which I'm really excited about because I love her red hair. I am transitioning my dark red hair to lighter red for summer. So I love this and her dress is so pretty and I love her little jean jacket. So let's get started on this. I think I'm gonna do the date dots the covers, um, and then the sidebar sticker. And then I will come back and we'll work on like all the daily plans and stuff. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, here's what we have so far, and I think we're ready to jump into the plans. So I think I'm gonna start with, I wasn't gonna use foil with this, but I kind of feel like it needs it, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't even know what color. Maybe rose gold would be the best. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm gonna start with the holidays first. And I'm just going to go in here. I think this, yeah, these are from Scribble Prince Co. in J. Crew's handwriting. So let's do St. Oh, St. Patrick's Day is the only one on here, but that's okay. We don't have Ash Wednesday, but that's all right. I don't um, observe Ash Wednesday, so 
I might just go ahead and white it out. Just gonna put this right here. Cute. All right, and then I'll put this back up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and white out Ash Wednesday, and that's it. Okay, so the other holidays are like first day of spring and spring forward, so I'm just going to layer this over this full box. I kind of regret putting the full boxes there, but I don't... Too late now. With caress press paper, you have to be really careful. It's so sticky. All right, that's cute. And then, oh, here's Ash Wednesday. I'll just go ahead and put this down even though I don't really observe it, but that's okay. Okay, and I already have St. Patrick's Day, so I'm gonna skip that one. And then first day of spring, I wanna put this down, but I don't wanna cover the kitty. So, I'm just going to leave it. I don't know why I picked the kitty for that day. But I'm afraid to get out undo because I don't know how everything would come up. Like, if I switched these, like, would the number come up okay? I don't know. So, with this 28th box, I don't have any more boxes to cover that. So, I'm just going to leave it for now. And then I'm sure I can fill it with um, washi and deco. By the way, did not pick out the washi for this. I don't know what washi I'm going to use, but it'll be pretty. I will probably use rose gold. I don't, I kind of loved the hearts that I used last. Um, I need to finish this, by the way. I'm not quite done with this month, but I loved that heart washi, and that might be really pretty. Maybe that one too. We'll see. Okay, so let's get into the planes. So the first. I don't have anything. Okay, second, I need to pack and I'm gonna grab, I have my Coffee Monsters Co. and I have my um, Once More With Love, but I think I'm gonna use this little guy here. I'm going to Austin for a week. Well, not quite a week, but I am going to Austin for like five days, I think it is. I'm just going to use one of these boxes. Well, pink. And this is to be, or this is for to pack because I need to pack. And I think that I didn't line this up correctly, but that's okay. I can cover it with this emoji. I'm going to slice that off real quick though. Because even though it's small, it will bother me because I'm a perfectionist. Oops. We'll grab that in a second. So I'm going to Austin for a conference and it's South by Southwest EDU. And I this will be my fourth year going. I love this conference mainly because it covers all kinds of topics that I'm like interested in. So like um, social issues with education um technology it covers lots of information about um oh it's texas independence day too i want to mark that i don't have anything cute like texas i don't i should have some texas stickers oh i do hold on i have some from i just have to find them from Wonton in a million. These are cute. Okay, let's find the Texas. Here we go. Okay, this is really adorable. Um, what was I saying? I, I just love that conference. It's so good. Kind of want to use this one, but it's like bright blue. I guess it could probably work. But is there a better one? I do love this one with the Alamo. I'm not going to San Antonio, but um, yeah, I can use this one for Texas Independence Day. I'm a proud Texan. So cute. Okay, 
So that's for Texas Independence Day. I do have these travel stickers from Erin Condren. I might use some of those. We'll just keep those out. All right, so conference. Let's go ahead and mark the dates for that. So I am leaving Sunday afternoon. I don't even know what time. I'll put all that info in later. I am so disorganized <laughs> and I'm really focused on school right now and finishing up my seven week classes that I can't even think about <laughs> other things right now. So I will put in that stuff later. But for now, let's just put in this little vacation strip. And I think I might just go ahead and put like a, a laptop or something uh, because it is mostly like tech stuff, but it's not all, it's just about innovation and I'm so excited to go. It really like refreshes me, if that makes sense, to go to the conference. What am I looking for? Not in there. Um, yeah, I love this conference and I'm hoping to maybe vlog a little bit but I'm still like a total amateur at that. So we'll see how that works out. I might just do it kind of like um, my Christmas vlog and just do like little snippets. I think that would probably work best. And then you don't have to worry about anything really. It's just much easier. Okay, we're gonna use this one up here. I think this one right here. And I'll just put that. I think I'll use a label. Oh, I forgot to put my down my payday stickers. I need to do that. Let's do a solid label. I'll just put it right here. And then I think I'll go ahead and put in some emojis. Or, or do I have like a cute plane? These are gold, so most of them are foiled. Mm, and I'm gonna go with rose gold. So I think I will just grab a little travel emoji in here. Maybe once more with love. I have some really cute ones in here. Okay, so that will be for my flight. And then I need to put another little part of the vacation strip because this is the last day. So I'm just gonna grab this. I don't know which day I'm gonna go visit the Erin Condren store, but that will definitely be happening. I went last year and I was just ecstatic the whole time. It was so fun. And the people that work there were super kind. I was there by myself last year. This year, I'm going with my friend Amber, who we're taking our grad school classes together. So hopefully, we can get our um, grad work done and turned in early. That's what we're working toward, so that we don't have to do anything while we're actually in Austin, and we can just focus on the conference and like enjoying Austin. So, oh, that's the plan. But. These classes are kicking our asses. So, if it doesn't happen, it is what it is. All right, so that is for the trip. That looks really cute. That is not straight, but I don't know if I can get it up. Let's see if we can straighten that out a little bit. Okay, all right, so conference, flying home. Let's just grab another one of those little guys. I think I'll use a pink one again. Okay, so we're going to fly home. We're going to get home really late this night, and so I'm going to mark a day off. I took the day off, and I have every single year that I've gone to this conference, I think, because we get in at like midnight, and then I wake up at five or close to five, when I um, go to work regularly and getting up with that like very small amount of sleep 
not going to work for me. So I took the day off, which is fine because my kids weren't going to be doing anything really anyway. All right. So their day off there. Um, oh, this is also International Women's Day, but I think I'll leave that off and just put it in my weekly spread. Okay. So this week is spring break, which I do want to mark. I guess I should just use um, the vacation strips in here. So it's really nice that this conference, so the regular South by Southwest is like during this week and EDU is like the week before. So when I go to the conference, it's really nice because I basically get two weeks of spring break. Not intentionally, it just kind of works out like that. And it's a really, really good break for me, like a brain recharge, if that makes sense. And then I can like finish the year strong. Okay. And then let's mark the other, that's crooked too. These little strips are hard to put down. That little kitty is so cute. All right, that's a little better, but not great. Okay, let's finish off with this strip and I'm going to go upside down. How much room? Okay. So for spring break, I think I'm just like planning on chilling out, doing some spring cleaning. I definitely want to do some cleaning. I have not planned any like little trips or anything. I'm not going to say it's not going to happen, but I don't have anything planned right now. Dang it. There we go. Okay. So for spring break, I think I will just do maybe just like a little, I don't know. Um, let's just mix it up and use one of these. Maybe this one. Just put this right here. Oh, and I have some spring. I started a album for spring stickers and I have some spring emojis. These are adorable. So I'm just going to pull in the little butterfly one. Mainly because it matches pretty well. And just do like that. Okay. Nothing really planned for spring break besides like the, you know, the cleaning and stuff. But I do have some projects, like home projects I want to do. I want to work on my yard and all that. So, but I'm not going to put any of that specific information in. Um, let's see. Okay, the 17th is, in the oh no, paydays. Let's do that real quick before I forget. I've got these little payday flags. I've got lots of options here. So I think I want to use some more neutral colors. Although they kind of fade to the background, but I do love this little peach color. So the 15th is a payday. I'll just put that right up here. Like that. And then the 21st is also, I think I'll just use this peach one. It's another payday. There. Okay. All right, we got our paydays down, and then the 22nd, I have a workshop that I am going to all day. I haven't used any of the icons yet. I think I'll use these like when I'm back cleaning and stuff. Um, I do want to film a bunch of videos during spring break too. So if you, besides sticker organization, because that is going to be the summer when I actually have time to like dig in and like figure out what I need to buy and like get it all organized. But anything else besides sticker organization or office, because that is another project. But anything else that you're interested in seeing, definitely leave that down below because I'm kind of at a loss. I have a couple of ideas, but I need some more. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, workshop. Okay, so let's do this one. I have a workshop on this Tuesday. Or Tuesday. This Friday, 
Um, this is kind of part two of a workshop that we've already done, but I'm really looking forward to it and it's going to be good. Let's just do one of these little icons. Oh, this one is really, no, this one. The little book because it's about English language arts. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. And then the 28th, I also have another, it's a half day workshop. So I hate to cover that up, but there is that in the deco. So it's not like I'm going to lose it completely. And it's up here in the big cover. So let's do a solid label on that one. How about this beigey color? And, or maybe one of the smaller ones. Let me do that. But this one is the ELA Collaborative, which I loved last time. I went with one of our English teachers and we had a great time. And I'm excited to go back and go for another round. And no, I'm not an English teacher, but I am kind of an instructional coach, so. And English is like our area of need. I'm gonna put this right here. Cross. Okay, and then let me do which I call do the little blue one here, a little clock right there. Okay, and I think that is probably everything. I do want to mark that spring begins, but I don't know how to do that. No, uh, I think I'll just leave it. Um, I think that's everything. I feel like there's more. Let me check my school calendar just to make sure. Oh, we are doing a, a benchmark this day. So, um, I'm just going to do this little pink. This is a really bright pink, but that is fine. We're doing a benchmark, an algebra benchmark on that day. So, I'll have a different schedule for the morning. Okay, so what is next? I think that is probably everything. <sighs> mm, I kind of want to use some more of these little Wonton and a Million stickers because they're just so freaking cute. Um, let me do the little, is it a, the steamy? Eating a taco because we're definitely going to have tacos while we're there. I don't know which day we're going to there in Conjure Store. Otherwise, I will mark. I would mark it, but I will mark it when I get back from my trip. I won't be taking this planner with me, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take my folio because I love this thing. If you guys have not seen the video for this one, I am in love with this. And I get to use my travel journal for the first time, so I'm excited about that as well. But this, I think, is going to be the planner that goes with me to Austin. So, I think I'm ready to fill this out. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, here is how it turned out. It feels like I don't have a lot going on this week, but or this month, but I know it is going to get really busy. So I just have that one little touch of rose gold. So I'm thinking that I will probably add some more. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And I will definitely be posting updates of the spread on Instagram. So check that out. It is linked below. And I hope that you enjoyed this. 
plan with me and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!